All right. So the next and probably the final thing that I want to discuss in calculated field are date and time functions. Okay. Before I move on to that, I'll rename the sheet. This is my uh, product categories, categories. Okay. And yeah, I'll just open up another field over here. And let me see, I think there are two dates over here. One is shipping date and order date. And I'm quite keenly interested in knowing the difference between the shipping date and the order date because it gives me the lag, uh, you know, the lag between the order being placed and the order being shipped. I like to study that probably uh, geographically. Yes, why not? Right. So I'll go for calculated fields. I'll open this up and I'll call it, yeah, shipping lag. I'll call it shipping lag. Now in this, I'll use a very simple function. The moment I put date over here, you can see there are plenty of dates, date functions out there, right? Not only it's going to give you the functions, all the functions where date is mentioned, right? It also going to give you the columns or the fields which contain the word date, okay? So there is something called as date add, date diff, date name. You can study these functions one by one. As of not today, what we're going to use in this video is date diff. I'll use date diff. And in date diff, there are three parts over here. In fact, before we use this, why don't we just study this a bit? Okay. So this is my date diff. And it says returns the difference between two dates where start date is subtracted from the end date. The start date, which is the first one, is subtracted from the second one. Fair enough. I'll remember that. The difference is expressed in units of date part, in units of date part. Okay. The difference might come in days, might come in months, might come in year, might come in hours, seconds, or any other unit, right? So probably I'll have to define that. For example, here it is defined as month. And this is the difference between the two dates. And finally, it says that the week uh, start day is determined by the start day configuring configured for the data source. All right. So it says that start of the week is majorly, uh, you know, uh, it's nothing. It's just uh, which day you want to start from. Okay. So I probably, uh, let's see, I can avoid the fourth variable over here or not, right? The start of the week or fourth element of this particular function. So I'll go for, I want first thing in quotes is I want the difference in day. Because I am aware that shipping date and order date will not have a lag of months. It will have a lag of days only. So I'll just put it day. Start day is my order date because this date will be subtracted from the next one, which is my ship date. Right. And I'll just keep it as it is. The calculation contains error. It says that the field or logical table name shipping lag already exists. Oops. This I had already created this if I, and I forgot to forgot about it. So I'll just go for something like shipping dot lag. Okay. And uh, yeah, now the calculation is valid. We can just click on okay. And my shipping dot lag, I think shipping lag is just above this. I'll just delete this because I would have just, you know, created it before. I can just click on this and rename this the original one, right? The one that we have just created. So it is shipping lag. Now we can just have a look at the function over here, which says it is the date diff in terms of day between order date and ship date. And we can study it now. We can study, especially shipping lag should be studied with the location of the, let's say city, right? I like to study this, right? And I'll just put this, and I'll say that this is my maps over here. All right, we can say, okay, these are the ones. We can see there's a lot of shipping lag over here. In fact, then we can take the shipping lag and put it on colors as well. And this time I'll have to be mindful, okay? Right, I'll have to mindful that it, I'll have to reverse it, right? If I go for, let's say, red, green diverging, red is a symbol of something which is not good. Green is a symbol of something which is good. But higher shipping lag, is not good for us. Lesser shipping lag is good for us. I'll have to reverse the color. If I click on reversed, the color will get reversed. Now the cities with smaller, uh, you know, shipping lag will come out to be green, and the ones which are giving me more shipping lag than usual is coming out over here. And I can see that these are the cities: Berlin, then we have London, then we have this is uh, and 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 I forgot one thing. This is right now giving me some of shipping lag. I'll have to convert this. There is no ha. Huh. See, the greater the order, the higher the sum uh, over here, right? So I'll have to go for what? Average. 
I hope you got the point. The point was that even with size, I'll have to go for this. The point is that with uh, okay, probably average shipping lag. I think every uh, city is over here is suffering with shipping lags over here. This is interesting. I can probably edit colors over here and say that, okay, probably this is not what I want to represent. Let's look at the advanced version of colors over here and say that the center is 3.5. I say that, okay, 3.5 seems to be something which is very general over here. Let me make it, let's say 4.5, okay? And if I apply this, now I get all the cities which are giving me shipping lag greater than 4.5. Now, let's say the shipping, average shipping lag is around 5. I'll take that, uh, you know, assumption over here. I'm so sorry for that. And we'll just click on OK. Now I'm getting all the cities where shipping lag is greater than five. Makes sense. OK. Now, why every shipping lag? Because the greater the number of order, the greater the ship or number of order dates and shipping date, the greater the number of shipping lags. So some will not be the right representative over here. The average is the right representative over here. That's what I realized and changed it. Now I can see it in the map. Okay, or probably I can just click on show me and let's say click on this. That way I can easily, you know, see in map that which are the cities are we talking about. Oops, it went out of color. I'll just put shipping lag back into color and this is how it will come out to be. Okay, I think I have made some changes. But yes, we get the point, right? So this is, I'll just hide card. I'll convert this shipping lag into average and I'm back to my original diagram, right? So this is what date diff functions can do.